Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to paint something a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I have been painting buildings and city scenes for some time now and I have been doing a lot of illustrations for the Tokyo Storyfronts book which meant more shops. But I wanted to paint something a little bit different this time, something a little more challenging and because I'm not used to painting with watercolors stuff that's made from metal and it has a lot of reflections and a lot of shiny textures that uh, buildings usually don't have I chose a car from all of the photos of interesting and cute and vintage cars I took with my iPhone while just walking around Tokyo Apparently from what I checked on the internet it's a Honda Life wagon that was made between 1971 and 1974 but I found it just standing on a Tokyo street and it looked sparking clean. I mean someone is really taking care of this car. I took some photos with my iPhone and saved them to my car's library. Another thing that I wanted to test here is the paper. If you follow me on Instagram you may know that I received a package of paper samples from Canson and the package contained all kinds of watercolor paper samples and also many other kinds of paper so I just wanted to start on testing them and decided to use one of them here. This is a paper I already used for watercolor painting but I didn't have uh, the chance to use it with other media so I decided to use my ink and my pencils and my watercolors on the cold pressed Canson Heritage paper. I will tell you more about this paper later but now the pen. I'm using here the same pen I used for the Tokyo Storyfront series so the isograph from Rotring of 0.5 mm thickness and for the watercolors as usual I'm using my 48 colors Schminke set. I started coloring the car being very careful not to kill the white of the paper because it's necessary for the highlights and because the car's body has a lot of highlights I tried to kind of plan ahead and leave the white of the paper in places where the body is kind of round and it reflects a lot of light and I also tried to use light kind of saturated colors for the flat parts that reflect the sky above so there are a lot of blues on the flat parts like the bonnet I think you call it and the roof of the car also because the bumper of the car is chrome and really reflective and there is a great contrast on it between the blue of the sky reflected uh, on the top part and the black of the road reflected on the front part so there is a huge contrast of colors there even though the whole bumper is made of the same material and this is a good tip for painting like this kind of chrome metal things like like stair railings or handles or the things you hold in a train. Even though they don't have a color themselves, they reflect all the things around them because they are kind of round. And because they have a relatively small surface, you get those kind of high contrast streaks lengthwise because all of the surroundings get mirrored in this small surface and it's kind of stretched lengthwise. Mastering painting those kind of reflections is really important especially in stuff like this car where most of the colors on its body are just mirrored from the sky or buildings or other cars surrounding it. So one of the points of this exercise was to get better at this kind of reflections. Okay so this is how the first picture looks like finished. And because I was already at it I decided to paint also this car from the back because I had some photos from the back also. And while I'm painting this I will tell you a little bit more about the experience I had with the paper. Okay so first this is not a sponsored thing in any way I just got a lot of paper samples in an event that was held in Shinjuku. But I have to say that this paper is good and I did not have any problems with the ink or pencils or watercolors and in fact I already used it with watercolors so I knew that it will do okay with my watercolor painting style. The only thing that I noticed is that it's kind of soft. The surface is softer than the surface of the paper that I usually use, so the Waterford paper. So. Probably it was because I was using the pencils a lot and erasing the sketch a lot and correcting it a lot. When painting with watercolors I noticed that in some places on the surface of the paper there were like clumps of 
paper fibers that sucked in water and the paint so they were darker than the rest of the wash. This problem went away after the wash was dry and everything got even, but while painting it didn't look so good. So maybe I will recommend this paper for watercolor painting, yes, but not with excessive like erasing and pencil sketching. I will have to test this paper some more, I think, and maybe also the other variations in this paper line. Okay, so the picture is done and it looks like this. You can see it in better details on my blog. I will be also uploading a high resolution version of this picture to my Patreon supporters to download and also to my Society6 shop so you will be able to order a print. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.